Father. We thank you, Lord God, for this day and this opportunity, Father, to come into your presence again. And we know, Father God, that even before we arose today, Father God, that you intended to meet us. We glorify you today, mighty God. For we do not pray alone, but we pray with the power of your spirit. For, Father, even your word declares that the spirit itself makes intercession for us with groanings and moanings that cannot be uttered. So, Father, we thank you today that even, Father, as we pray and even as we agree together and even as we join faith and even as we believe one with another, we thank you, Lord God, that there is he that is greater than us that agrees with us, and that is you, mighty God. We thank you, O oh Father God, for giving us your son, Jesus, for he is our ever intercessor. We thank you that your word declares that we have not a high priest that is not touched by the feelings of our infirmities. We give you praise, Father, that at all points he was touched just as we are. So even as we pray this morning, we thank you, Lord God, that we tap into the channel of heaven, that we tap into the prayers of the Lord Jesus Christ that goes forward for us, Lord. And even, Father, as things are on our heart, we give you praise, mighty God, that is also on the heart of the Lord Jesus Christ. We glorify you even now, Father, for the power to pray, the power, Father God, to come before you, God, the power to come boldly before the throne of grace to obtain mercy in the time of need. And we give you praise that even as we arose today, mighty God, that your mercies were new, O oh God, for your word declares that your mercies, they are new every morning. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless you today for fresh mercy today. We thank you, Father, that your compassions fail not, that even when men are not compassionate towards us, Father God, it is you, Lord, that allows your compassion to flow as mighty rivers, O oh God. And Father, even as you are moved with compassion in your word, and you healed, and you wrought signs and wonders, and you wrought miracles by your hand, I pray this morning in the name of Jesus, Father, that that same compassion would flow towards your sons, would flow towards your daughters. Father, only you know the exact need and the exact desire and those supplications and petitions that your people have before you ought to deal, God. We thank you today, mighty God, that you've already prepared a way. You've already gone before us, Lord God, to prepare paths in the wilderness. You've already gone before us to dig out rivers in the desert. And we thank you, mighty God, that there shall be nothing that shall be able to contend against you, O oh God. So, Father, even as we rebuild altars, Father God, before you, we also redig wells. We thank you, mighty God, in the name of Jesus, that your word declares that out of our bellies would begin to flow rivers of living water. So we pray, mighty God, in the name of Jesus, that by your hand and by your spirit, O oh God, you would begin to dig out, Father, every bit of hindrance out of our soul, every bit of blockade out of our minds, that the fresh water of the spirit would begin to flow into our worlds, would begin to flow in our homes, would begin to flow in our marriages, would begin to flow in our ministries, in our relationships, in our businesses, mighty God. We say, river of God, flow. We pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that by the power of the Holy Spirit, that you would begin to break up every fallow ground. Father God, every ground that's been parched, every ground that's been dry, we pray now in the name of Jesus that the waters of the Spirit would flow and begin to saturate a spirit, soul, and body today in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you that your word declares in Revelations that there is a river that flows from the throne of God. It's the river of life. And wherever the river was, your word declares that life was there, that growth was there, that increase was there. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we tap into the river of life, the river that flows from your presence. We thank you today, mighty God, that there is a well that flows that shall never run dry. Father, we thank you today, oh God, that you are that well. You are that well of living water that's springing up into everlasting life. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we speak.
speak life to everything concerning us. We decree and declare that we shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. So, Father, I thank you today that even this very hour, even this very moment, that life hits the bodies, the minds, the soul, the spirit, the heart of your sons and daughters. In the name of Jesus, we thank you today, mighty God, that you came to give us life and life more abundantly. Father, I pray today in the name of Jesus for every man or woman, every boy or girl that's listening to this prayer today, that feels the life source leaving their bodies, that feels the life source leaving their soul, leaving their mind, leaving their emotions. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will cause life to be back in that soul, to be back in that mind, to be back in that heart in the name of Jesus. Not only life, but the life that comes in more abundance than your sons and daughters can ever imagine. Father, I pray in the name of the Lord as Paul prayed in Ephesians 3, as he said, I bow my knee unto the Lord God that they may be strengthened with might in the inner man. I pray today, O God, in the name of Jesus for supernatural strength in the inner man, supernatural strength in the deep parts of the heart, in the deep parts of the mind, in the memory, in the name of Jesus Christ. I give you praise, mighty God, that the bodies and the hearts and the souls of your sons and daughters are laid before you, O God, as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you, which is our reasonable service. Father, we thank you today, O God, that it is not our holiness that you want. It is not our righteousness that you want. But Father, it is your righteousness that you give us through the shed blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. We decree and declare today, O God, that we are righteous and have right standing with you because of your Son. We glorify you today, mighty God, that we raise ourselves because we are seated with you in heavenly places. So Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you today, mighty God. For the life-giving ability of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, we pray today that even as you breathe life into every man or woman, we pray now in the name of Jesus that through our lives we'll begin to breathe life unto every man that's lost. And even as we pray this morning, we thank you that your word declares in Isaiah 50 and 4 that you wake us up morning by morning, that you wake us up to hear as the learned, that we should know how to speak a word to him that is weary. Father, we pray today in the name of Jesus that even as we walk with you today, and even as we speak with you today, and even as we worship and commune with you today, that you would cause the word of the Lord to be so heavy in our hearts that you would give us supernatural discernment uh, to those that we should speak to, uh, to those that we should minister to, uh, to those that we should pray for. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I pray today, mighty God, uh, that upon your sons and daughters uh, would come a prayer burden uh, in the Rabakoria Sunday and that upon the hearts uh, of your people, oh God, uh, would come a prayer burden, uh, a burden to pray, uh, a burden to seek your face, uh, a burden to know your will, a burden to know your heart, a burden to know your mind. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord God, that out of our mouths comes the speaking forth of the mind of God, comes the speaking forth of his purposes, comes the speaking forth of his mind, his plans in his heart, his instructions. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray mighty God uh, that you would word our mouths uh, as a writer uh, readies the pen uh, we pray God in the name of Jesus uh, that our minds be saturated uh, with the thoughts that can only uh, come from your presence uh, in the name of Jesus Christ 
we thank you, mighty God, that we do have the mind of Christ, that the spirit of counsel, the spirit of might, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of revelation would come upon your sons and daughters today, that right where we are, wherever we go today, Father, we thank you that the manifestation of the mind of Christ will cause us to gain access into doors that were blocked, that will cause us to gain access into windows, gates. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you today, Lord God, that there is no ceiling that shall limit your sons and daughters, that even today, mighty God, your people walk through unrestricted access into the things that you've already prepared for them. We thank you today, mighty God, that we follow behind you, O God, for it is you that goes before us. It is you, mighty God, that not only goes before us, but your glory is our rare reward. Not only do you go before your sons and daughters, but you walk behind us, that you walk on the side of us. We decree and declare this morning that we are divinely surrounded by the presence of the Almighty God. We give you praise today that your word declares that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We thank you today, mighty God, that we walk surrounded by your divine presence on every hand, on every side, in every situation, in every circumstance. We give you praise, mighty God, for the surroundings of your spirit. We thank you, mighty God, for your word declares that we are graven in the palm of your hand, that no one can pluck us out. So, Father, in the name of the Lord, we thank you today, O God, that we walk throughout this day in divine confidence that you are with us. You are Emmanuel. You are Jehovah Shammah. You're not only the God that's with us, you are the God that is there. And Father, we give you praise now for manifestations of your presence all day long. For manifestations of your promises all day long. For manifestations of your goodness all day long. We thank you that your word declares that goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We give you praise now that there is a pastor that you are laying your sons and daughters down in that will cause them to find rest, that will cause them to find restoration, that will cause them to experience recompense in the name of Jesus. Whenever your sons and daughters did not seek vengeance on their own, we thank you that your word declares that vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, I will repay. And Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that this is the time and this is the season that your compensation package will be promoted in the lives of your sons and daughters. Yea, O Spirit of God, there is a compensation package that is being revealed in the lives of your people today. In the name of Jesus, you've already signed it. You've already sealed it. It has been dispatched by the angel armies in the name of Jesus. Now, Father, we thank you that there's a realm of divine attraction that comes in the lives of your sons and daughters. For yea, your word told us, if we seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all his righteousness, you said all these things would be added unto us if we sought your face, if we called upon you, if we acknowledge you in all our ways, if we lean not to our own understanding. We thank you today, God, that this is the time, that this is the season, that you are bringing things together, that there's an alignment in the spirit realm, that there's an arrangement that is only divine, that is causing the rivers to be properly aligned to reach the destination and that destination is called your son that destination is called your daughter in the name of Jesus there is an alignment that the river won't be stopped every dam is being broken up so the waters of the spirit of God will begin to flow in 
and mighty ways, uh, O rivers of the living God. Uh, we thank you today uh, that it reaches uh, in the low places. Uh, it reaches uh, in the high places. Uh, we give you praise, God, uh, that there shall come nothing uh, that shall hurt or harm uh, your sons and daughters today. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, we thank you that no weapon uh, that is formed against us uh, shall prosper. Uh, and every tongue that rises uh, against your sons and daughters, uh, it is already condemned uh, that they that incense uh, evil and wickedness uh, against your sons and daughters, uh, they have found us nothing today. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, we thank you, mighty God. Uh, that even today, God, we walk in such a realm of confidence. Not only confidence, but expectation. And we thank you, Lord God, that our expectation has already been fulfilled. It has already been completed. Thank you that our expectation is of you. You are the Lord of the harvest. You are he that controls the winds and the seas. And they do obey you. So Father I thank you today. That the word of the Lord. That was launched from the end. To the beginning. Concerning your sons and daughters is sure. And that word. That predates them. Is being manifested in their life even today. Even today. Little by little. Much by much, your word is coming to pass. And I give you praise today. I give you praise today for peace that surpasseth all understanding, keeping our hearts and our minds by Christ Jesus. Well, precious people, thank you so much for allowing me to pray with you today. And I pray that you walk throughout this day with a level of confidence that cannot be denied. I mean a level of confidence that doesn't see what the enemy is trying to show you, that doesn't hear what the enemy is trying to say to you, that doesn't think what the enemy wants you to meditate on. But I want you to do like God told Joshua. I want you to meditate on his word day and night. So he can make your way prosperous. And so that you can have good success. Meditate on him today. And as you meditate. May the manifestations of the Lord Jesus Christ. Continue to be performed in your life. Well precious people as always. I want to thank you for allowing me to pray and agree with you today. And I always want you to remember. That when others have forgotten about your visions. And others have forgotten about your dreams. I, Aaron Mobley, am praying for you. God bless.